Hey gang, Private Jack here. Okay, I've been asked many, many, many times to do some sort of a tutorial on how to do up these title cards that you see at the beginning of the Meet the Meet the Team type uh, uh, videos. So I sat down and I said, okay, fine, I'll do it. So in this tutorial, we're going to go through, I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm just going to tell you, I'm not going to show you how to use the programs to do it. I'm going to show you how they go together and basically you can figure it out from there. So the first thing that you're going to require is an image software that will allow you to work in layers. And I happen to use GIMP. Uh, it's a free image editing program. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of layers. Next thing you're going to require is some sort of a template and you can either go out and look for one or build one yourself this is one i built uh, or you can go in and actually grab the meet the soldier or meet the engineer uh, title card uh, from tf movies in the materials titles area so that's the meet the soldier and that's the meet the engineer and basically if you have a quick look at them if i toggle i'm pretty much on with the uh, template that I designed. But anyway, make a long story short, that's what you're going to require to start off with. Okay, so as you saw in the opening of the uh, video here, I did up a meet the name card type uh, title. And the way that I did that is I used my template. On top of that, what I did is I started building. So here's the background. And then Here's the meet the, and this particular font here is a commercial font. So what I did was I cheat a little bit and I used the uh, meet the from uh, the engineer thing here. I cut, I cut it out and put it on uh, its own layer. So there's the meet the, and then here I've got the title card. And this font here is called Black Oak and it's available freely. Uh, all you have to do is do a quick uh, Google on it and as you can see here it's pretty much bang on. I'm going to bring that up here so that we can have a quick look at it. Okay, it's bang on to the actual font that is used in the actual title. So, yeah, that's Black Oak font. So I'm going to drag that back down here. And the way that I build it, okay, is now that I've got this stuff in layers and I can see it all on my screen, what I have to do is I have to merge them all down into one particular font. Uh, picture or they're not going to go together in the VTF that we're going to create. So what I do is I grab the first one, right click on it, merge down. Now that's in with, if I turn these off, you, what you can see is now I've got the meet the and the title card uh, title on the same uh, layer. I'm going to merge that down one now. I'll have to turn on the next layer merge that down. Now I've got the background and the that stuff together. Uh, turn on the final layer. I merge that down. And now it's all on one picture. What I do from here is I do a file, export, and you have to have the VTF plugin for the particular uh, program that you're working with. Uh, GIMP has one. Um, Photoshop has one uh, that will actually export VTF type files. So I change the file name here to VTF. I go into uh, user mod and I'm going to save it to my user mod materials, titles, meet the team. And I created this path. And I'm going to call it title card. Well, let's call this one title card four so that you can see that I'm actually using one. Okay. Say okay to that. It'll export it. And I turned on alpha and I made it a 7.4 version VTF file. Next thing I have to do is I have to create a 
VMT for it. And this is the VMT that I created. And where I got the information from was I opened up the Meet the uh, Engineer uh, VMT. And like I say, I found that in TF Movies, Materials, Titles. And this is where I got the path from to meet the team. And here's the BMT for the Meet the Engineer title page. And as you can see, it's an unlit generic. And the reason why it's unlit is because you want this thing to shine out if you're using Black Void or any dark map that uh, you happen to have. Okay. All I do is I change that to the name of the actual uh, VTF that I want to use. So I'm going to go back into user mod materials model uh, materials titles meet the team and I called that one team card four so I'm going to grab that copy that paste that and save that into my user mod folder so save as and I got to go up 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 down to user mod, materials, titles, meet the team, and I'm going to save that as title card for VMT. Okay, now that that's done, I can open a session of uh, Source Filmmaker. Create a session. Okay, yeah, download those. Okay, I'm going to load Black Void so that you can see that this thing actually shines up in Black Void. Yes to all. Thank you. Open up Black Void. go black void is now open now to use these these are going to be a material effect and there's two ways that I can load a material effect I can come down here to overlays right click on the effects panel and add a clip to track I'm gonna make it a material overlay effect that's going to create this little tab here and I can grab the end of it and expand it out to however long I want it. I have to right click on it, take it to the element viewer. Down here on the search uh, button, I click the search button, it'll open up my material uh, browser. And what I need to do is I need to find that title card. So it's gonna take a little bit and I'll probably can the video here while it does that. because I have so much stuff that has to load. Let's just change that to user mod and wait for it to load up. There they are. Didn't take as long as I figured it would. Okay, so I'm gonna expand those out so I can see. And the one that we created was title card four and there it is. So it is now a material effect and it sits right in front of the camera until such time as the clip ends. Okay. One of the other things that uh, people don't know about is that you can control the opacity of the actual card right here in the overlay effects. And if you come down here into the alpha channel, if I turn the alpha channel down, I can make it disappear or I can make it fully opaque opaque the 
problem is is that it's not uh, uh, at least I haven't found a way to actually um, animate that so that I could have the card fade in fade out or whatnot else it's just something that you can actually have going on in the background if you've got something in the background you want your card to be semi opaque so that you can see through it you can turn it down here you can also control things like what color it is on the outside uh, that kind of thing from here so let's just get it all back to normal put it back there good okay so that's one way of loading this stuff up the other way I'm going to delete this clip is you can control this thing at shot level so let's say I've got a shot and I've got it bladed I'm going to blade it here at about 15 okay so what I can do is I can actually come into the shot I can right click on the shot and right here in the edit clip uh, place I can come down here and I can set the clip overlay. That will open up my material browser. I can find my title card and I can open that up. So now it's controlled right at shot level. Okay, and anytime I move this particular shot around, that title card is going to end when the shot ends. Okay, now if I want to, I can actually control the uh, opacity of it here by right clicking on the shot, coming up into the clip edit, as long as the shot selected that is, come up here and I can come down here to set the clip alpha. Now I can turn that down to 0.5 and it makes the clip semi-transparent, about half opaque. I can turn it right off if I want. that down to tip point one and if I had something in the background you'd be able to see through the card the other thing is I can control it by right clicking on it and sending it to the element viewer and right here on material overlay I click on that plus sign and here are the different functions that are available and it's pretty much the same thing as if you were using the uh, effects panel but your clip will not sh uh, your uh, overlay will not show down here on the effects panel because it is actually inside the actual shot so anyway that is pretty much all there is to uh, doing title cards oh one other thing I'll show you how to turn one on off so let's say I want this shot because it was in the shot to begin with, it is now in shots one and two. What I can do is I can click on shot one, show it in the element viewer, click on the over uh, overlay, and right here, all I have to do is delete the uh, file name for that particular uh, material, and poof, it's gone. So I can create my slug now, I can go back into my shot and then carry on with my clip. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you found this uh, informative. And uh, with that, I'm going to say Private Jack out. Hey, look, buddy. I'm an engineer. That means I solve problems. Not problems like what is beauty, because that would fall within the purview of your conundrums of philosophy. I solve practical problems. <laughs>